I tried running too. It doesn't work. It always follows. All due respect, that's your life, not mine. I'm not so sure about that. What do you want from me, lady? Hey, watch your tone, new girl. You know how they always say it goes back to the original? Here's the original. I want your help. Because you're wrong, this is your life now, which means that whoever this is is going to keep coming for you. So? So I want you to help us kill him. You want me to help you and the host of a morning show commit murder? Correct. Yeah. Nev Campbell in the new Scream, and we are here along with David Arquette. <laughs> All right, before we go, it's the final five. All right, I'm going to ask each one of you quick rapid fire questions. David, worst habit during the movie? <laughs> Drinking has been the worst habit. <laughs> I don't anymore, so thank goodness. Nev! What was your worst habit during the movie? Uh, we were staying at the Doubletree Hotel and they had cookies on the pillowcase every day and I ate those cookies every single day. Uh, Courtney, what was your worst <laughs> habit during the movie? I wonder if I smoked then. I probably did, yeah. Did I? Yeah. Uh, smoking cigarettes. David, what is the scariest thing about you? No, I beat myself up. You know, I'm just very critical of myself and. That's the toughest thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nev, what's the scariest thing about you? I'm Canadian. There's not a whole lot scary about us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know, honestly. Well, I think <laughs> gum passing. No, you. I think that I, uh, mine would be uh, my critical voice. Maybe yeah. not in the same way. Um, you know, dealing with as I get older and all the other things you do to criticize yourself as opposed to just accept and. That would probably be the scariest and worst. David, have you ever seen a ghost in real life? I don't know. I feel the energy sometimes, but uh, I don't think I've seen a ghost in real life. Nev? There was a house that I owned, the very first house I owned, that someone passed away in. And um, I was not the only person to have experiences in that house. Courtney, have you ever seen a ghost in real life? I haven't seen a ghost, but I did live in a house that um, was believed to be haunted. I entered the door one day and uh, there was a UPS guy or a you know FedEx person there. And, and they said, do you know that your house is haunted? And I go, well, I've heard that, but why? He goes, because there's someone standing behind you. <gasps> wow. Ooh, that's a good scary that's a good one. one. <laughs> that's a really good one. Okay, last question. How did this movie change you, David? We had had a daughter out of it, and you know she's the greatest thing in my life, and and um, yeah, so that really is the most impactful thing that's ever happened to me in this business. Yeah, Nev, how did this movie change you? I mean, this movie gave me everything. It was a springboard, I think, for all of us. I mean, it really, its success really helped pave the way for all of us in our careers. And um, my life would be very, very different without Scream. Yeah, I hear you on that. Courtney, how did this movie change you? Well, besides the obvious, um, I will not go to the bathroom in a movie theater or just about like any sports. Or, it doesn't matter. I always look underneath. <laughs> and prefer just not to go. I will not go into a parking lot by myself. And if I do, my heart is racing and I'm constantly looking. Okay, I'm so honored to be a part of this journey with you guys. And I congratulate you with all of my heart for 25 years of Scream. <laughs> Um, also, everyone in our studio audience is going to go home with this 4K Ultra HD <laughs> DVD because it's out for the very first time like this. Thank you to Paramount Home Entertainment.